Welcome everybody to this short, well not so short, tutorial on how to use civil designer in order to calculate volumes of excavations. Right, let's get started. I'm going to load up civil designer. Where on earth is it? Oh, there it is. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, so this is going to be some new work for us. It's not something we've maybe done before. We can expect a few hiccups. Let's see how the process unfolds. Right, so we're in the civil design environment. We are going to be importing some survey information. So let's go to the survey mode, file, project settings. We need to select a terrain file. Do we have one? No, we don't. We want to call this, um, let's call it the pool. And we're going to say open. This doesn't exist. Create the file. Yes. Good. All right, all these other settings are fine for now. Southern Hemisphere, etc., etc. Okay, where to from here? Well, I need to import some survey information. So let's go file, import, ASCII YXZ, single file. Let's look for some survey. What am I going to use? Let's use this. Open. Comma delimited is what I'm looking for. So that's fine. Next. This is looking familiar. I'm going to click here, say name, click here, say X, click here, say Y, uh, and here say Z. All right, that looks good. Finish. Data range, this is problematic. I'm going to have some points which don't belong in the right places. Let's say yes. Destination surface one, okay. And there I have a series of points. You might not be able to see them depending on the quality of this recording. I can see them though. I'm going to put the codes on and the heights. These are the ones I want to work with on the far right. That's my survey. I'm going to go ahead and delete these other ones just for the purpose of this exercise. How do I do that? I go to terrain. I go to edit. No, I go to model. Delete point. I want to delete one of these points, but I want to snap on it. So I'm going to choose a snap setting, grab all. I'm going to stick here, this little red cursor. Yes, that one's in the wrong place. There's another one, yes. So those are gone. We've got this bin, which is in the wrong place. Yes. All right, and that leaves me with the points that I'm trying to work with, my survey as it were. Good. Right, so that's a big mess of text and stuff. Let me switch off the text. Those are my points that remain. I now need to triangulate this model. So let's go terrain. No, that's the wrong one. Triangulate. In memory. Search distance 30 meters. Okay. Switch the triangles on. There they are. Looks all right. I'm going to delete this point here because it's not really part of the part of the model. Again, model, delete point, and delete that point. Yes, and I think this point also doesn't belong here. Let's delete that one. All right. So my model is nice and neat. Let's now say that I wanted to um, put in an excavation here. Maybe I need to put in a foundation for a tower or something like that. Let me see what the levels are in that area. 29.77, 29.8. Okay, right. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is to create a platform or an excavation um, boundary for a particular shape. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the CAD section. CAD. And I'm going to draw a chained line. And I'm going to draw a line up this way. Let's see if I want it to be six long. Let's go up six. Let's go to the left 1.5. Okay, good. Let's go to the left six. Let's go up 1.5. Okay, it makes sense. Enter. Let's go down six. Let's go left, 1.5, enter, and I'm going to close on that point. Okay, so I've got a 6 by 6 meter 
I think roughly six by six meter excavation. Now I want to put some levels on the corners here. How deep do I want it to be? Well, if I looked at these codes, oh, sorry, at the elevations, this is about 29.93. I'm going to say I want to go with a level at the bottom of 28 meters. All right. So, uh, no, I need to be in the, I need to be in the, okay, wait, let's just close all our functions. I need to be in the terrain mode. I'm going to go to model, insert point, F5. And I've still got my snap here. Just remember the, the snap. I'm going to snap to this point. Point 1, surface, change to surface 2. And put in a Z coordinate of 28 meters. Okay. Do the same here. Surface 2, surface 2, point 2, 28 meters. Good. Repeat that here. All the same information. Okay. And repeat that there. Okay. Good. There I have these points. Now these points are on surface 2. The yellow ones are surface 1. So this is my design platform level. Now the next step is to create contours on, uh, sorry not contours, triangles for this platform. Right. So what I need to do, model, triangulate, in memory, surface to process, surface 2. Okay. Now you can see there's my purple line for my triangles. If I switch them off, there they are. Right. Everything is looking fine at this particular stage. I want to now go ahead and calculate the volume of this excavation. Now I'm going to assume that the excavation is not vertically sided, but that there is a cut slope of one in three. So let's say it's an attenuation pond or something like that. Okay, now in order to do that, I need to go to terrain, surface banks, fixed slopes, because I'm having one slope the whole way around. Ground surface is surface number one. Terrace surface is surface number two. I'm going to say OK. Snap on terrace point. I'm going to snap in the terrace. Cut slope one in five, full slope two. So let's make this cut slope one in two. Section spacing. I'm going to go with one meter. And I'm going to say OK. I'm going to ignore this for the moment. OK. And you can see there what it did is it created the perimeter of the excavation, all the points, and these are the slopes from the base up to the model, up to the ground surface. Good. So I'm now in a position to calculate the volume of this particular excavation. So I once again terrain, um, terrace volume, and the ground surface, surface one, the ter terrace surface, surface two. So OK. And now snap on terrace point. Let's snap on the point. Platform name, we call it plat1. Compaction factor, 100%. To, uh, top soil to strip, I'm going to say zero. Grid interval, I'm going to change this to one meter. Volume report, I can either do prism, contour by band. Let's go by band. And then let's say OK. So the volume calculation is run. And we can see here that the volumes adjusted for 100% compaction and zero topsoil stripping, 188.3 cubic meters excess cut. Very good. So that is that particular process done. Let's go and change that. Let's make it a vertically sided uh, excavation now. So terrace banks, delete, surface, terrace surface, okay. Uh, stir snap there. Okay, to yes. Right, so there we have it. Now, terrain, terrace banks, fixed slopes, cancel. We don't want any slopes. Silly me. Terrain, terrace volume. Okay, click on this point here. Platform one, topsoil strip zero. Say so okay. And we see we've got. 71.57 cubic meters of cut. Right. Let's go back and actually just put in some cut slopes again. Terrace banks, fixed slopes. Okay. Snap in the point. Oh, it didn't specify anything, huh? 
Okay, try again. Terrain, test banks, let's delete them first. Okay. All right, yes. So that's cleared out of memory. Terrain, what do you want? Terrace banks, fixed slopes. Okay, pick on a point. Cut slope, one in, let's go one in 1.5. Section, section spacing, one meter, suffix to add. Okay, good. There we go, we have it there. Now what we're going to do is we are going to create a new surface that has the excavation in it. And so we're going to merge these two banks now. So terrain, terrace merge, ground surface one, merge surface, surface three. That's where we're going to create the new surface with all its points. Validate merge surface, good. Right, so snap on the terrace point. Okay to merge, yes. Line will scan successfully. Good, so all these green points are now on surface number three. How can we check? If we go to settings, if we go to display settings, surfaces, let's say surface one visible, right click, no, surface two, no. Notice there's 324 points in surface three. So we're gonna say, okay. So then these are the triangles and the levels on surface three. So if I switch the triangles off, those are the levels and those little green specks are the points. Let's put the contours on now for surface number three. So I'm gonna to go to settings, display settings because I want to make the spacing closer. I want to make half meter intervals. Contours, display contours, second surface to display contours, surface number three. They're gonna be nine. I'm gonna change this here to 0.5. And we're gonna say, okay. Do you want to activate it? No. Now I put the contours on and there you can see the contours for surface number three. Very nice. Now, what I want to do is show you something else that's pretty cool. We're going to do a visualization of this excavation by going to Rain, 3D View, View. We want to look at Surface 3. And I think that's, no, 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 no. I think I need to do this. Let's see what works, what happens if we do this. Base surface, surface three. Okay. And there we have it. Yes, that worked very well, in fact. So yeah, I have this I have this visualization. Notice that I can rotate it. And also tip it up and down. And then I can also change the scale, uh, the eye height, X, up and down. We'll come back. And then the Z, making it further, closer or further to us, the rotation, let's bring it around that way. Good. What else is there to do? I think that's it for now. I think we've, we've seen enough today. So what we've learned is how to, we've, we've imported survey points, we've created a surface, we've created a design surface. We've calculated volumes, we've merged the surface, and we've done a graphical display of the surface. What's left now is let us um, maybe just save, file, save as, select where you'd like to save it, give it a name. Notice I've chosen to save it as an AliCAD drawing. Maybe let's change that to a AutoCAD drawing. So do we have AutoCAD here? AutoCAD. DWG. Hmm. Let's go with that. I'm going to go with what I get 2010 to 2012. So drawing one platform and save. You get contours, that's fine. Saving my platform save good to go 
for last let's put the triangles back on just to see what they look like good thank you very much for watching i hope you found that useful please get back to me if you have any questions